Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minirmala Basnet. Dear viewers, let us now start the program with the main affairs of the day. The salt provided as a subsidy to Mugu district of Karnali state has disappeared. This year, there has been an increase in spring paddy production in Nawalpur. Fifteenth of Shawn was also celebrated as Millet Day. Plus more. Let us continue the program with the news on salt. Everyone praises on how sweet the food is, but no one praises the salt in the food. They just say too salty or too saltless. No one says you are so salty to a nice person. They just say you are so sweet. But when we leave the salt out in the food, no one is happy. However, when we leave the sugar out in the food, no one really complains. You can understand it is the salt that we cannot live without. So salt is sweet. In Nepal, salt comes from India. The salt provided as a subsidy to Mugu district of Karnali state has disappeared. Let us now look at this news report for a little bit. The salt provided as a subsidy to Mugu district of Karnali state has disappeared. 159 quintals of salt provided by the Nepal government as a grant for sale and distribution in Mugu have disappeared from the district headquarters, Gamgarhi Market. The salt that Nepal government was providing in the form of subsidy in five districts of Karnali has disappeared. 159 quintals of salt provided by the Nepal government as a subsidy for sale and distribution in Mugu have disappeared from the district headquarters, Gamgarhi Market. Salt Trading Corporation Branch Office Mugu and Chenath Rara Air Cargo Transport Service had an agreement to transport a total of 2,700 quintals of salt from Nepal Ganj to Mugu Headquarters Salt Trading Corporation Branch Office Mugu in the first and second phase for the last fiscal year 2078-79. Purendra Bahadur Buddha, the coordinator of China Thrara Air Cargo Transport Office Mugu, says that the salt to be transported has been transported several times by China Thrara Air Cargo Transport Service and delivered the salt to the representatives of Salt Trading Corporation Office Branch, Mugu and District Administration Office. <laughs> Mundo Tobago, I'm using Uta Bago Solani Sato, to Solani Tobago, just the Arena, Nunco, I think Tapo Medum de Lino Bagosa, to Solani, no Tobago Porsas and Ladino Bagosa, Potobi Gorera, no Abu Bulan and Tobago came as a dinner, two to the business guy Pano Buza, Buza, Solani, I'm using a sign of Porsas and to go to Tobago Port in the Songo Tobago Tasa. Where is the Porsas or Solani? Porsas and Guru, or Matta Nun Kere Buzano, Ozro, Porsas and Guru, I mean Nun Buzago. It has been found that the vehicle loaded with salt, which was purchased on 8th of Chaitra through Banke's Bill number 208, was going to Mugu headquarters, Gamgarhi. Assistant contractor Buddha said that on Sunday afternoon on 13th Chaitra Salt Trading Corporation office, Mugu head Kagendra Karki's wife, Vidya Malla Karki, and the representative of the district administration office delivered salt to Rohar. However, the Salt Trading Corporation branch office Mugu office head Kagendra Karki said that out of the 2,700 quintals of salt contracted in Mugu, only 2,551 quintals of salt have arrived and 159 quintals of salt have not arrived. <laughs> Nun can go, Costa, Kuju, Savio. Bismarago, Cotiquinta Nun. 
Similarly, Chief District Officer Rom Bahadur Mahat said that his firm did not transport 159 quintals of salt because he was fully aware of the salt that was being transported to Karnali for subsidy. He said that after the balance was not found in the records, when he asked to recalculate how much salt was in the salt warehouse, no salt was found in the warehouse. According to Chief Officer Rom Bahadur Mahat, it was found that the shipping service that was transporting the subsidy of Karnali was selling salt on the way without transporting it to the relevant place. <laughs> मुख्य कुरा चाहिँ यो नेपाल जोड बुझेर ल्याउने हो उहाँहरुले यहाँ हामीले बुझेको अनुसार प्रमाणित गरेर पठाउने हो त्यही अनुसार उहाँले ढुवानी भाडा चाहिँ नेपाल भन्दा कम दाबी गर्थे उहाँको भनाइ अनुसार मेरो अलि बढी बुझेर ल्याथे भन्नु हुन्छ यहाँ हाम्रो रेकर्ड अनुसार चाहिँ जति आयो हामी त्यति नै प्रमाणित गर्ने हो हैन हामीले जति प्राप्त भएको हामीले विवरण प्राप्त भएको छ त्यही अनुसार हामीले प्रमाणित गर्छ जस्तै हजुरको रेकर्डमा कति प्रमाणित गर्नु भयो र उहाँले अब हामीले आएको दाबी हरियो भन्ने कति छ उहाँको चाहिँ एउटा चाहिँ 160 59 क्विन्टल चाहिँ उहाँ आउनु न पुगेन भन्नु हुन्छ उहाँले तर अब हाम्रो चाहिँ रेकर्डमा चाहिँ जति आयो त्यति नै हामीले भन्ने हो हैन अब हामीले नपुगेको रेकर्ड उहाँले ल्याउनु भयो ल्याउनु भएन बाटोमा कतै गयो अथवा नेपाल चाहिँ कतै आएन अथवा चाहिँ सुर्खेततिर गयो कि अथवा यस्तो कुराहरू हुन सक्छ हैन विगन्त पनि यस्ता घटनाहरू भएको देखिन्छ सुर्खेतमा मात्रै अघि नै कुरा गरे मैले सुर्खेतमा चाहिँ तपाईँको मुङ्गो कालै ल्याउँदै गरेको सु चाहिँ सुर्खेतको चामल तपाईँको अर्को बोरामा रिप्याकिङ भएर चाहिँ तपाईँको भक्तपुर जाने गरेको अवस्थामा हामीले म सुर्खेत जिल्लामा साइपुरुङ जिल्ला हुँदाखेरि अधिकारी हुँदाखेरिमा चाहिँ सुफा कुनामा चाहिँ समातिएको थियो हैन The state has arranged concessional transportation for the remote areas of Karnali. From the Salt Trading Corporation office in Bangi to Gamgarhi, the headquarters in Mugu Salt is transported for 9 rupees per kilogram. It has been found that the citizens here were buying salt for 9 rupees per kilogram, but now they are buying it for 10 rupees. It is necessary to investigate the issue of embezzlement of concessional salt for district residents by all the relevant agencies and bring the culprits to justice. After the news report, let us now see the news on Spring Paddy production in Nawalpur. Spring Paddy is becoming a very much loved topic for the agriculture journalists. The Spring Paddy cultivation is promoted around the country to meet the food demand in the country. We are receiving news that says that the production of spring paddy has become more and more. This is a positive news that informs about the country's move toward food security. Nepal imports a lot of rice every year to feed the hungry Nepali nation. This year there has been an increase in spring paddy production in Nawalpur. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. This year, there has been an increase in paddy production in Nawalpur. Agriculture Knowledge Center Nawalpur said that with the increase in planting of paddy in the district, there has also been an increase in production. Compared to last year, this year, 50 hectares more area of spring paddy was planted in the district and 202 metric tons more was produced, the center said. According to the center, 3,562 metric tons of paddy has been produced this year due to planting of spring paddy in an area of 750 hectares in the district. Last year, 3,360 metric tons of paddy 
was produced in an area of 7,000 hectares in the district. The center has implemented the paddy blog program to attract farmers to spring paddy production. As farmers were attracted to the program, the area and production of paddy increased. Hardinath Wan Taichin, local anati and CH45 varieties of paddy have been planted in the district, especially as spring paddy. After the news report, let us now see the news on millet day. Millet is a cultivation for drier land than paddy. It is a very hardy plant and has a lot of nutrition. In the Middle Ages, millet was the main diet of the European people. Millet is indigenous to Central Asian countries and is also adopted in South Asian countries like India and Nepal. In Nepal, millet now grows well, but the people have stopped consuming millet. Nepali people prefer rice, so millet is disappearing from the Nepali culture. It is important to conserve the millet in the country. 15th of Shaon was celebrated as Millet Day. Millet Day has been celebrated every year to encourage the cultivation of millet, which is full of nutritional and medicinal properties to emphasize import substitution. The Federation of Nepal Farmers Group has been demanding the government to celebrate Shaun 15 as Millet Day nationally. However, the government has not decided to celebrate Millet Day as a national festival. Although the government has not decided, organizations related to agriculture have been celebrating Millet Day. On Millet Day, the day was celebrated by holding a special program at Vim Fedi 5 Chaveli under the organization of Federation Chaveli Farmers Group Vim Fedi 5 Mokwanpur, an association of Nepali agriculture journalists. The private sector emphasized that the millet should be propagated as a respected crop. Emphasis should be placed on agricultural education with millet processing and entrepreneurship. Diversified seeds and technology should be made available through national policies and programs. The private sector should conduct millet day and millet farming promotion programs through the policies and programs of the local, state and federal governments. After the news report, let us now take a small commercial break. Stay with Krishi Television. After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal. Dear viewers, let us now see the news on apples. Jumla apples are very popular with the Nepali people. Even though the Nepali people love their apples, they do not get to eat it all the time due to the fact that the Jumli apples do not make it to the Nepali city centers very often. Nepali Jumli apples are said to be organic and wholesome. However, recently the quality has been going down due to the fact that the farmers are selling the apples before being ripe. The farmers and traders believe that they will not get the right price later. Organic apples produced in Joomla have started appearing in the market in their unripened state. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Organic apples produced in Joomla have started appearing in the market in their unripened state. Traders have started selling and distributing unripe apples here in coordination with the farmers. Even though the agronomists and the local level have issued a circular not to harvest apples before 15th of Vadra, the farmers and traders here have started selling unripe apples saying that they will not get the price later. Unripe apples of Joomla are kept for sale in the streets and squares of Surkhet and the capital of Karnali state and in the fruit markets. Similarly, Jumli unripe apples have reached Kathmandu, Nepal, Ganj, Dang, Dhangari, Biratnagar and other districts. Agricultural experts say that with the economic prosperity, the danger of losing the identity of the agriculture apple, which is connected with the identity of the district, has also increased. On the other hand, Tatupani Rural Municipality and Chandanath Municipality have requested the farmers not to harvest apples before 15th of Vadra. In order to maintain the identity of apples to fulfill the demand of the market and to get a better price, both the local levels have issued a notice not to harvest apples before 15th of Vadra. All the eight local level farmers of the district are dependent on apple cultivation. After the news report, let us now see the news on marijuana destruction. Marijuana is injurious to health. This is why the cultivation of this plant is banned in most of the countries around the world. This plant is addictive. 
use of marijuana fries the brain like the egg fried in the hot oil. This is why the cultivation in various areas of Nepal is destroyed. There are many uneducated farmers who cultivate this marijuana. There should be better look out for the control of this cultivation. Addiction to marijuana smoking can destroy life. Cultivation of natural hemp plants has been started in various areas of Karnali state. With the participation of civil society and local police, the marijuana uprooting has been started as a campaign. The district police office has destroyed the marijuana plants in the headquarters Simcoat area. As part of the Community Police Partnership Program, the police uprooted marijuana plants. Deputy Superintendent of Police Krishna Raj Oja informed that there is a lot of marijuana production in Joomla and the police is going to destroy it as part of a campaign. In addition to Simcoat, this campaign has also been started in places where there are police stations and temporary police stations throughout the district. In Dai Lake, a campaign has been conducted to destroy marijuana at various local levels. After the news report, let us now see the news on milk production in Gandaki. Gandaki is the central part of Nepal where all the culture of Nepal comes from. The Gandaki people are very energetic, hardworking and brave. Even though the land here is not of the highest quality, the people work hard to meet the food demand. Recently, the production of the milk in this state has increased and the state has become self-sufficient. The highlands are very good for the production of fodder, so rearing the livestock is very good business here. Milk production has increased in Gandaki state. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Milk production has increased in Gandaki state. With the increase in production, self-sufficiency has been made in this state milk. In recent years, with the gradual increase in commercial cow and buffalo breeding, 65,000 liters of milk is produced daily in the state. According to the demand, Nepal Dairy Association Gandaki state has reached a state of self-sufficiency in milk. 90% of the milk demand here is being produced in Gandaki. In addition to local production in Gandaki state, milk comes from Chiton, Nawal Parashi, Kapil Bostu, and Rupandehi. Milk is exported from Nawalpur in Gandaki to other states. The consumption of milk is high in various district headquarters, including Pokhara, the capital of the state. Within Gandaki, there are four large, eight medium, 20 small, and 100 domestic dairies. After the news report, let us now see the news on import into the country. It is no secret that Nepal imports a lot of the food items from foreign countries. It is shocking that the trade deficit is so high. Nepali government says that it is working to improve production each year and each year it is the same old story. The trade deficit is too high. There is a need of new strategy to combat this problem. We need new ideas emerging in the country. The government is going to form a high-level suggestion and study committee to make recommendations to manage and reduce the increasing import. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The government is going to form a high-level suggestion and study committee to make recommendations to manage and reduce the increasing import. The committee will be formed under the chairmanship of Vishwanath Paudel and will submit suggestions on the immediate decision to be taken by the government to reduce imports. The meeting of the Council of Ministers on Monday decided to form the committee. The committee has been assigned the jurisdiction to submit suggestions on the laws and practices related to the World Trade Organization and Nepal's import management. In addition, the committee will analyze the existing economy and make recommendations to the government. The members of the committee include the Governor of Nepal National Bank, the Secretary of the Ministry of Finance and the Secretary of Commerce. According to the statistics of the Customs Department on Monday in the last fiscal year 2078-79, Nepal has done international trade worth 21 karva, 20 arba, 47 crore rupees. Out of that, 19 karva, 20 arba, 44 crore rupees have been imported. Despite the improvement in exports, the trade deficit has exceeded 17 karba, 20 arba rupees due to high imports.
Petroleum products accounted for the largest increase in imports last year. When the price of petroleum products rises globally, its direct impact is seen in Nepal's imports. According to the statistics of the department, more than three Arba rupees have been taken out of Nepal on the import of petroleum products alone. Last year, Nepal imported diesel worth one karwa 68 Arba 23 crore rupees. Similarly, petrol worth 71.38 Arba rupees was imported, while LP gas worth 65.55 Arba rupees was imported. After that, crude Soybean oil worth 56.18 Arba rupees has been imported, which is processed in Nepal and sent to India. The processed soybean oil sent in this way has become the most exported item from Nepal. This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minerma Labasnet. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the day. The salt provided as a subsidy to Mugu district of Karnali state has disappeared. This year there has been an increase in spring paddy production in Nawalpur. Fifteenth of Shawan was also celebrated as Millet Day. Thank you for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minermala Basnet. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samritta Krishi, Nepal Kushan.